How's it going dudes and welcome back to Bear With Me, The Lost Robots and I believe we were headed back to Roxy. So yeah, let's we'll start to Roxy. Or maybe the other robot here. So, found that area yet? Or did you find another building to fall out of? As a matter of fact, we did. Wait, really? Yeah, really. It was exhausting. We had a break in. Let me just intervene here before incriminating stuff gets said. It's fine. I don't even want to know. All right, boys. What do you say we put this accountant back together again? And then you, you can get the hell out of my shop. Well, when you put it like that. Give him his re give ratchet his relay again. No, it's just a ratchet relay. All right. That his works. That his name's not ratchet. Really? A few moments later. This one is green. Okay, this one is green. Got it. Well, it's not yellow, that's for sure. Well, it's not yellow, that's for sure. Oh, I got it right. So, uh, B is this one. So this one is B. Obvious one. Where does it go, though? It's as red as red goes. Yeah. This one is blue. Obvious one. Where does it go, though? What's this it saying? This one is definitely not red. Obvious one. Where does it go, though? This one is blue. This one is blue. Okay, okay. Obvious one. There we go. Where does it go, though? I got it. I got it now. Alright, he's breaking up. Oh, you can tell us who did it. Head, head, what? Head. Where, where, where am I? Take it easy, buddy. You're among friends. Yeah. What? <coughs> what was going on? It's a long story. You were yes, it is. murdered, and stripped of your internal parts. Although not too long, I guess. I, I was dead? <laughs> Holy motherboard! Hey, aren't you that guy who's dating Betty Davis? I mean... <laughs> you have some catching up to do, accountant. This bundle yes, of joy here is Fixie Mender. She's the one who put you back together. I, I'm sorry. This is a lot to take in all at once. Can you I bet it is. about the night you were kidnapped? No. I, I After the union meeting, I got to my apartment, and, and the next thing I knew, I, I woke up here. Wait, wait, wait. Don't you record everything you hear? What if you were recording for a couple of minutes still, like, like, like after you died, you know? Kid, you're a genius. I, yes, he I guess is. I can work. Uh, d d let me check. Happy birthday, Tiger. Ready for your present. Oh, oh. What did you... <coughs> um, um, uh, th th that's, that's not... That, that, that's something else. Um, uh, j j just a second. Okay. It's, it's still not. Uh, 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 let me just. Um, uh, <coughs> go a little more. Uh, should I be here for this? Ah, there we go. Please be the right one. Get his feet first, Barry. Come on, man. We talked about this. What are you talking about? When we're working, call me a fresh. No one is ever going to call you that, buddy. Ever. No. She. She? Okay, you two. What the hell is going on? You'll read about it in the papers tomorrow. We don't have time to explain it now. Who yeah. Are you talking about Ted? I don't know, kid. Although. What? Although. Nothing. Let's get to the Jungle Jazz Bar. We have some fish to catch. What about this guy over here? I, I don't think I can walk j just yet. Huh. That's what she. Don't you dare! <laughs> right, you stay here, buddy. Fixie will take care of you. Won't you, Fix? What the hell? Do I look like a nurse? We'll be back for him. I owe you one. You're great. Ted, you better fix this fast, goddammit. Oh, damn. Oh, damn it. Damn you. Bye, miss. 
I'm sorry. You're off the hook, sweet chicks. Just hurry up. So, what, uh, um, what, what, what's your deal? Ah, oh, I'm happily married, Tiger. Oh. Yeah. A am I missing a finger? Uh, we should probably give him his finger back. I shouldn't waste it. Good finger is hard to come by. Really? We can't give him his finger back? Alright, let's go. Doesn't look like those fish are here right now. But I'm guessing they're inside? Those puzzles took me a very long time to finish. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Harold and Barry. <laughs> Look, Bear, it's the defectives! Good one, Harold! Yeah, good one, Harold. It'll be the real zinger inside the joint. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about, Bear? Don't you have some other actress you can let down again? Okay, I've had enough. Shh. Lily's about to start. Who's yeah. Lily? Why don't you appreciate some art? Let's take it for a nice day walk. What do you say? Give me a couple of high notes there, honey. Mmm, beautiful. There's literally no talking to her. Let's cut this concert short so we can corner them. What do you have in mind? Leave it to me. Okay. I'm sorry, Lily. I hope she lands on something soft. Uh. Oh no. What happened to the music? It's anyone's guess, Snoop. Oh my god, Harold! This is just like that dream I had! Remember? What? I need a drink. This was underwhelming. I'm freaking out, Harry! <laughs> Alright, just calm down. Jesus. Have one of them cocktails you love so much. Yeah. Anyways, I need a word with you two. Eh, we're looking to wet our beaks right now, Snoop. So unless you know how to mix drinks, we'll see you when we see you. Sometime. No one, no one he probably does. Hmm. Okay, so ice, the martini glass, ice shards. Rare candy. Sparkling orange. I don't see sparkling orange. Oh, sparkling orange. Oh, I gotta get two rare candies. That's just dis distilled plush. Stir. This turned out real nice. Bottoms up. Looks interesting, but not my cup of tea. Ah, as if you have preferences. Okay, boys, what'll it be? Are you even supposed to be back there? No, Listen, not. You want the booze or not? All right. Okay, boys. Are you even? Listen. All right. Okay, let's cr let's just start from the beginning then. More moments later. Hmm. Crushed ice. Rare candy. Carrot juice. Blue honey. Hmm. This G. No. Yeah. Harold Macrolin. Okay, it says crushed ice, right? Yeah, crushed ice. Rare candy, hair juice, blue honey, shake. Then now I get it right. Careful. Oh, it's just how I imagined it. Look, Harry. 
Emerald. It's beautiful. It sure is a beaut. And it has your eyes. Mazel tov. Now let's talk to him. Here's a quarter for your effort, Bear. Listen, Snoop. We're not really in the mood, so, uh... No. You listen to me, now. Why should we? I found Robbie, you stupid idiots. The proverbial jig. It's up. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Who? Robbie Robotson. As if he'll tell you anything. Why wouldn't he? Bear. Remember what we talked about? About only you talking to the police? Safe bet. Okay, Ted. You got our attention. Hey, is that a bat on the ceiling? You got my attention. Let's say you did find him. Presumably, he told you some things, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, smart guy. Barry here desperately wants to be called by a code name when he's out and about. What's the code name? It's fresh. The fresh. All right, but you could have heard that anywhere. Like where? Fair enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, you got lucky. I'm still not convinced, though. Okay, fine. Let's drag this out some more. All right. After Barry bites the bullet, where did I say I'll mention his code name? His tombstone. His tombstone. Hmm. That's right, his tombstone. Okay, let's move on. Hmm. I can't tell if it's just blind luck, or if you really know something. We really hey, know something. You came up with the damn system. Can we continue? I need to call the cops on you. Okay, fine. If we're carrying out a body, um, like a hypothetical body... Sure, sure. What do I always tell Barry to grab first? Legs. Feet. Yeah, feet. Good job, Snoop. Okay, what's going on here? How do you know all this? I told you, idiots. I got the key witness. And I got the paper trail proving you delivered his parts to Skinner. Who, by the way, just got arrested. Oh. Yeah, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what the hell do you want? I want to make a deal. Sure. Okay, sure. Um. Hey guys! Did you see? There really was a bat up there! Hey. Wait, what are we talking about? Really? Well, better make a call. That'll be 25 cents for local calls. Well, look, like we got 25 cents right here. Who are you calling? Locke. Shh. Stanton. Stanton, is that you? Yeah, I need to talk to the commissioner. Is he in? Come on, man. I need to talk to him. It's important. Well, tell him it's someone else. I owe you, buddy. Locke. Yeah, no, it's me. But wait, wait. I have some new info on the case. What do you mean it's done? It's not done. Skinner was just buying the stuff. Someone else? What? Listen, just meet me at the old lighthouse. Tonight. Down by the bay. Bring the boys and... Locke? Locke? <sighs> God damn it. He hung up? He hung up. Yep. So what, we're on our own? Like that's out of the norm. Once more into the fray, kid. You up for it? It's really not fair, you know that. What isn't? How everyone's treating you. Yeah. Uh, it's fine, kid. I'm not doing this for credit. Still, you basically solved this case on your own. Yeah. I wasn't on my own. I had some help. So what now? Let's go see how Robbie's doing. Let's go see how Robbie's doing. Hey, Robbie. How you doing? Hey, sweet cheeks. How you holding up? I mean, really, Ted? What? I was talking to him. Oh, I I'm just getting some rest. I'm, my head is still... That's great, buddy. Good to hear it. Listen, we need your help. What's the plan here, Ted? Okay. As far as PCPD is concerned, 
The case is closed. Smiley is going down for a long time. Great. Case closed. Get out. Not, Not quite, quite. doll. <sighs> Those two idiots are going to meet with whoever's hiring them. Tonight. And your plan is to... We're going to bring the heat. But oh. you just said that the police aren't going to help. The police aren't, but you are. Oh, oh. I don't know about this. It, 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 it sounds dangerous. Don't worry. You were already dead once today. That's oh. true. Okay, then. So? We need to make some modifications to this guy first. Oh, I get it. We're gonna bluff. Yes, That's we right, are. kid. We'll need some bright lights up there. Play some police noises and boom. We got ourselves a confession. Well, either that or we'll get shot. That's, that too. That's what I mean. Either is fine. Um... All right, people. Let's get to work. And when I say people, I mean you, Fix. I got that, Ted. I guess we gotta go look for some modifications for Robbie. I shouldn't waste it. And his finger is not one of them. Back already? Great. You can take this one with you. Nah. Ted. All right. Let's check out the lighthouse. So this is the place. It's the place, all right. But it's not the time yet. No, I mean for the showdown. I like the location. It's it's nice. Kind of a cliche, if you ask me. It is. But no one ever... Dad. Yeah. For what it's worth, I had fun working with you. Ah, shucks, kid. Don't get all mushy on me now. Shut up. I just wanted to let you know. That's all. Yeah. Thanks, kid. I had a good time, too. But it's not over yet, mind you. I know, I know. So, shall we go check what's inside? That's the plan. Yeah, let's go check in what's inside. Why was, why was Ted just standing at the front of the street? It's nailed down. I can't open it like this. Crowbar to the rescue! It's full of light bulbs. Take one with you. Way ahead of you. Okay then. First aid kit. I'll take the bandages with me. You never know. Is that everything? It's just lighthouse stuff. Yeah, for lighthousing. Whatever that implies. I guess that's everything. It's a flotation device. Let's leave that here and hope we won't need it. Let's. Mm-hmm. Nah, not right now. No. Nope. Still checking it everywhere. I don't know why I'm not checking the rope. Hmm. It's just lighthouse stuff. Yeah, for lighthousing. Whatever that implies. It's just a rope. We could have used that back at the cinema. Oh yeah. Go back in time? Are you... what? Never mind. We don't need it. Nah, not right now. Was the rope a reference to something? It took me a while, but I finally found a spotlight. I am not very smart, am I? Oh, good. I was hoping I'd get something heavy and broken to carry around again. <laughs> Let's head back to Robbie. All right, Robbie. Let's Next, hook you up. The bulb fits. Okay. Hope this stays on. Hope so. There. This should work. I still think welding was a better idea. What? No. I'm not turning him into Frankenstein's monster. This will do. Yes, it there, will. It's working. It's using power from his auxiliary battery. How are you feeling, Robbie? It feels okay, I, I guess. Great. We're all set. All I right. have a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, kid. This is definitely not the stupidest thing I've ever done. Just shut up, Ted. You're not helping. Fair enough. Let's go. Finally! Try not to get him killed again. He'll be fine. Won't you? Um, I really don't think... Oh, boy. See. Okay, let's head out. All right. All right, accountant. This is it. You ready? I'm... I, I don't... Will you stop freaking him out? Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. Listen, Robbie, it's going to be fine. The kid and I are going up top. And you stay here hidden. Uh, um... Exactly. 
when you hear the door slam up top. You start blasting that light and play some police sounds. That's it. Can you do that? Yeah, <coughs> sure, I, I, I can do that. I knew you'd pull through. You're one of them tough accountants, aren't you? Yes, he I mean, is. I, I was voted. Yeah, I know you are. You stay hidden until you hear the door slam, okay? Okay. I'm ready, guys. Good luck. I guess we're headed to the top of the lighthouse. Okay. Oh, fast. The boys in blue are on their way. Where's your employer? She'll be here soon. Just remember the deal, Bear. We get full immunity. I can't get you full immunity. You're kidnappers. Okay, but maybe half immunity? Um, sure. Why not? Shh, I hear someone. Okay, this is it. Places, people. Time to hide. Doing well. Wait, it couldn't be. Good evening, ma'am. What's good about it? Ma'am, we were thinking and. No, you won't. Otherwise, you wouldn't tell that goddamn bear about the relays. I. I'm still talking, Fresh. Now, Skinner got arrested. But we thought you wanted him out of the picture! Not like this. The bulls will make him sing. You two need to take care of him. <clears throat> Speaking of the police. Okay. What's this? Lose the cloak, would you? You're not fooling anyone. Well, well. Oh, I knew it. You two got this far? I'm somewhat impressed. Miss Warkovsky? I mean, kid, you're the only one still surprised by this? Yeah. He doesn't know you well enough. I should have known something was up. I'm surrounded by incompetent idiots. <laughs> by us! And yet, the only one I hired because he is an incompetent idiot turned out to not be so incompetent after all. Ha. Good job, Bear. Oh, by the way, I cracked the case. It was you, all along. Well, you're still not getting paid. <laughs> Seeing you behind bars will do. That's funny, Snoop. In case you forgot how to count, you're outnumbered. But, are we really? Are I've we had really? enough of this. Take care of him, will ya? Um, door slam. Oh, right. Okay, honey. You got this. <laughs> What's this? You brought the police? So, mind doing a recount? Go to yeah. hell, Snoop! What are you waiting for? Shoot him! I'm... I'm sorry, ma'am. What? What are you... Kill them! Now! Oh boy. Ma'am, we have... They sold you out, is what he's trying to say. It's over, Miss Rakowski. Harold, you spineless bastard! Oh no! I didn't expect that. I did. Told you this was a cliche location. It was. These things always turn out this way. I'm sorry, Barry. I can't believe he's gone, Gus! Come on, let's go get Robbie. Yeah, he's probably freaking out. Poor Harold. Somehow, this all turned out for the best. I would rather see Lifty Warkovsky behind bars than dead, but I guess she didn't share my sentiment. The bodies were never recovered, however, and it's anyone's guess as to what happened to them. The official statement issued by the PCPD pinned Skinner as the sole mastermind behind the events. Despite my best efforts to expose the whole truth, Locke wasn't interested. A scumbag in jail is worth two scumbags in the wild, he said. On the bright side, with a little help from the fresh, all the missing robots were dug up and put back together. He got a good deal in the process. He never did see Harold again, though. At the press conference, Locke and his goons took the stage. We were pushed aside, 
But hey, as I told the kid already, I'm not doing this for credit. Some robots were saved. That's enough for me. In the light of all the recent events, I finally mustered up some courage to pick up the phone and give Betty a call. All I got was her voicemail. It will be a long time before I find the courage again. I like to think she's better off. Anyways, I guess, in the end, just like me, she kind of dodged a bullet too. Robbie's doing fine. He's back to his usual self. Whatever that is. Fixie Mender got a little press coverage as well. Her business got a boost, and I'm really glad for her. I'm glad for all of them. I've spent so much time brushing up against Paper City's underbelly that I forgot about the good people living here. People I like to call friends. I'm sad to see the kid go. But I understand. He's got his own thing going on. There's not much room left for an old relic such as myself. And that's... that's okay. I'm sure Amber is going to be just fine. The important thing is that Flint now understands that what happened wasn't really his fault. I'm just glad that by the end he got to feel a little more at ease. Sam caught us as we were leaving the conference. He took a picture of the real hero as he puts it. I couldn't agree more. Who cares about recognition anyways? The kid was the real hero of the story. He did good. He saved them robots and he saved me gave me something to do. That was sweet. <coughs> oh, what's going on here? You okay? Yeah, yeah. I feel a little lightheaded, that's all. I mean, it was a hell of a case, kid. I'm surprised you're still awake. Um, I don't think this has something to do with him being long, tired. You just rest, kid. I'll wake you up when we're home. Hey, Ted? Yeah. I was thinking. Now, that's dangerous. No, seriously. Maybe we could do this again sometime. You know, you and me. Oh, and Amber. Like, the three of us. That. That sounds nice, kid. I don't think that's gonna happen. That. Yeah. Let's. <coughs> could you close the window? Sure, buddy. <coughs> There's ash from the engine flying in. <coughs> Just a sec. I don't think that's from the engine. Thank you. No, kid. Thank you. This is the last time we're gonna see Flint. Oh man, that brought back so many memories. I was kind of tearing up at that e ending there. Oh, but yeah, I really, I actually really liked the original Bear With Me. And this one just kind of had, ha kind of brought back some of those memories. But anyways. If you guys like this like this game and want to see more like it, recommend something down below. But anyways, that'll be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. And thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.